going bad, credit default swaps. Right. Yeah. Yes. And yes. They, they, they were the ones that actually cleaned up big time yep. on this whole deal. But what struck me as remarkable, and it's an, it's an easy read for a complicated subject. The author does a great job on this. Mm -hmm. But uh, what struck me is that uh, 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 they were essentially buying off the, uh, the, the people rating the bonds, Moody's and the other investor yep. service. Yep. You know, Moody's wants to keep the business coming in, and if they're downgrading the bonds, then a company like Goldman Sachs right. is just going to take the business to the other rating service. Exactly. So the whole thing was gamed. Yeah. It was unbelievable. I haven't read that book, but I experienced the housing uh, crash mm -hmm. myself, my husband and I did. But the interesting thing right now is with what's happening in overseas markets, you know, Greece and um, in Asia, we're seeing our bonds being rated so highly. That that's why our mortgage rates are so low. So it's come, trying to come back on itself. So we'll have to see and watch. And it's going to be a long-term thing, I think. Well, it is. It's, 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 a, do it's, a, it's, it's a, a scissor effect here. You may have the mortgage rates down, but when you've got unemployment at 13.3%, as I believe it was announced that yesterday here in Michigan, that's where we're at. Yep. It's tough for people to buy houses. Exactly. Sure. Yep, absolutely. Speaking of Europe, a, a heat wave over there. What's going on? Goodness gracious. People in bikinis in Moscow? Yeah. Have we ever heard of this before? I don't, I don't know. So. <laughs> uh, you know, some people are saying global warming. I'm with you, uh, Rich. I don't think that's the case at all. It's just a, a weather pattern that's coming up. It's right. bringing the heat up from Africa, up through Europe, and uh, they've got a cold front coming through next week. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I thought it was bogus over the winter when we had a particularly brutal winter that people would say, oh, see, there's no such thing as global warming. I don't think, I thought those charges didn't make sense to me. Right. And I don't think it makes sense to say because we're having one hot summer that global, but, you know, we're going to find out over time whether, you know, who's right on that particular issue. Right. Well, Science I think the one thing is you can't compare it to one country only and say, well, because Moscow is hot, it's uh, global warming. We have to look at the overall country, you know, the whole world's temperature. Is it going up or is it just... A weather pattern. Exactly right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ron uh, Van Timmeren from Celebration Cinemas uh, will be joining us. I'm not sure if he's on the line yet uh, or not. Ron, are you there? Hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you all doing? Super. I was hoping Nikki could stick around for our uh, our segment on movies because she's a little bit excited about one, Nikki. Yeah, Inception. Oh, Nikki, I saw it yesterday. It is awesome. Okay, now I'm even more excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Now, why are you excited? And don't tell me it's just DiCaprio. No, I'm actually not a DiCaprio fan. I'm excited for Yeah, the, the girls were actually, uh, you know, they're not too excited about uh, Leonardo there. I mean, he's okay. I mean, there's nothing to gush about, but I'm just excited about the effects and the storyline. It just seems he's so... Apparently, he's no Johnny Depp. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, he does a good job, but credit the director, Christopher Nolan, for putting together something totally like you've never seen before. And I, I love the review in Hollywood Reporter. It says, a, devilish, a devilishly complicated, fiendishly enjoyable sci-fi voyage across a dreamscape that is thoroughly compelling, easily the most original movie idea in ages. Amen, I say. Yeah. Is that Michael Caine I just saw in the... Uh yeah, Michael Caine's got a real bit part there. And okay, uh, and the gal from uh, that's the gal. That's the gal from uh, Juno, uh, isn't it? Page co-stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, Celia Murphy, Marianne Cotillard is in it. Nice cast, uh, just incredible special effects and stunts, and uh, just a wild ride. Uh, all 149 minutes of it. All right, what else we got coming up this weekend? Well, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, that opened up on Wednesday. Nicolas Cage, Jay Rucco, Alfred Molina, and that. It's rated PG, kind of a, well, it, you know, a, a action picture for the, uh, the young PG crowd. Uh, Jerry Bruckheimer produced it, uh, directed by the same guy that did National Treasure, so they're hoping, to, they're hoping to get a little lightning in a bottle. It's kind of Karate Kid meets Harry Potter with a little Ghostbusters thrown in. And then Touch them all. It's a little wider release this week. Kind of a black comedy. John C. Riley, Jonah Hill, Marissa Tomei, Catherine Keener, and that uh, something uh, kind of an anti-blockbuster for the summer. Uh, uh, Cyrus, an uh, R-rated fun comedy about relationships. All right, but the big one to watch is uh, Inception. That'll be number one. You oh, there's a prediction right there. All right, fair enough. Ron, thanks so much. See you the movie. All right, you betcha, Ron Van Timmeren at uh, Celebration Cinemas. Where, uh, well, he's already seen the movie you want to see. Now you're even more excited, right, yes, Nikki? Yes, can't wait. All right. Yep. Nikki Hale, our world correspondent, thanks so much for dropping by. Lovely Thank to meet you. you. Thank you, you too. I enjoyed it. Thanks very much. <laughs> thanks. All right, we'll be back. Uh, we're going to try and uh, drag uh, Captain Kirk back from wherever he's gone off to. Uh, and uh, join us here for our, uh, our next uh, few segments as we continue on this uh, Friday morning in the stead of one Michael Patrick Shields. Right here on the Michigan Talk Network. Hey, check us out on Facebook, why don't you?